guys, it's me, Stormy, and we have got a Pluto retrograde coming up for 2018. Our planet of mystery, our big little detective, is going to take a nap from April 22nd all the way until September 30th. So this is a big outer planet in terms of his energy. We know this is the smallest planet we have, but what he covers, I think, is pretty huge. Now, the idea sometimes is that because these are the outer planets, when they go retrograde, it's not as impactful as, of course, when, like, Mercury goes retrograde and we all, like, forget everything we're saying, communication gets messed up, our devices slow down, all of that kind of stuff. But I do still think it's very important to talk about what's happening during this time because it encompasses the entire world world. We're all getting it. And how do you make use of a retrograde if you don't know what's happening during that retrograde? So let's talk about this. Pluto, when he is direct, he is our planet of transformation, empowerment, right? Uncovering things. He's the mystery detective. He is getting to the truth, the bottom of things. He's taking things. He's usually inverting them so that we can get a different perspective on them. Because if we have a different perspective on them, we can see the truth, right? He's really not afraid to go to hell and back for answers and questions. So this is why this is our detective kind of energy, right? Now, Pluto's whole purpose is to empower us through transformation. The old something has to die off so that the new something can live. That's the phoenix rising from the ashes, right? Now, when Pluto takes a retrograde, flips around here, appears to be moving backwards in the sky because that's just an illusion, and we use that um, very much so here in astrology, but when that is happening, Instead of uncovering all of these mysteries in our external worlds, depending on your chart, what we start doing is some internal personal house cleaning, right? We're not so confused about everything in the outside world. We're digging through what have I got in here? Um, it makes us very reflective. What am I doing in the world? Let's say it's hitting your 10th house. What am I doing? What is my purpose? How do I really fit here? How am I serving quality here? Am I happy here? right? Any old hurts become available to be looked at, right? Because you got to come to the other side of them. If there's resentment down there, if there's fear, I'm afraid to actually step out here and teach astrology because what will my family think, right? This becomes a place where you're going to get real reflective so that you can see what these things really mean to you and be prepared to step forward. Now, if we think about this realistically, when we think about the names, I really think names in astrology are important. And Pluto is named after um, the god of the underworld, in the, the Roman god of the underworld, right? The land of the dead, right? So we have all of that stuff happening in the land of the dead or the quiet or the subconscious, um, the shadow areas, any of those things. Now, what we've been able to see is when Pluto action or when Pluto energy is in action, some of the things that we see is secrets coming to the surface, right? We see politicians have done this, men have done this, women have done this, bribes have been over here, right? We see all of those things. And as it retrogrades, this is something we can see within ourselves, you guys. This is our shadow sides maybe coming up. Where are you being money hungry? Where are you being manipulative? Where are you being greedy? Where are you showing up in your life for show or maybe just showing up in your life giving lip service? That's a big one right now. Where are you showing up in your life giving lip service saying, oh, I'm just giving it to my, to my creator. I'm just giving it to the universe. Oh, I'm so grateful. And it's lip service, but your actions don't match. This is a time. Live gratefully. If you're saying you're grateful, live gratefully. If you are, you've got this thing going on where you're feeling like you just need to grab something to be able to control it because nothing's really looking, you know, it's kind of bizarro world. Pluto over the next five months nap that he's going to take gives you an opportunity to do that personal reflective inventory to look around for five months and it gives you permission to see the traits that are not serving you, right? How can you improve upon them? Which ones to let go? Which ones are showing up in your life and you're not actually using them and they are good. They could help you blossom, right? So I really get excited to talk about the outer planets because I do think they impact us and it's so subtle. 
it is so subtle that really until you sit down and look at your own chart or you're going over with somebody who reads charts and you say, oh man, look, Pluto was in retrograde at this time and this is when I, for whatever reason, let go of that old relationship. It was at that time that for whatever reason I became okay, happy, grateful in my brand new life and I stopped wanting it to look like something different and started to accept it as it is. I mean, it's a gorgeous five months, you guys. I hope you use it well, clean out the cobwebs of your soul to the best of your ability, and at the same time, you know, rule 62, don't take yourself too damn seriously, okay? <laughs> Relax. What you need to see will rise to the surface just like cream. All right? all right, you guys, I love you so much. I will see you in the next video. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Bye.